just yesterday, February 24th. Uh, I think I think Bloomberg also came out beforehand, like an hour beforehand. I don't know if yes. it's prompted Bioware to uh, just push out a blog post immediately or not. But uh, yeah, Bloomberg report announced the Anthem uh, was reportedly canceled. Development was canceled. That the presentation right. did not go over well, whatever that was. I would love to be a fly on the wall in that yeah. room. And then Bioware, yeah, shortly after via a blog post announced the Anthem development uh, was officially done for yeah and, and and why do you think like again this is all speculation but it looked like good progress was being made there there was right. something there was a, a a better more ideal version of anthem potentially on the way why do you think ea figured in that room why do you think they figured those executives decided that it wasn't worth salvaging even after a year plus of yeah. tinkering well, and you make a good point. Like live service games, it's not, I mean, there's an art to them, but it, there's yeah. also a science, like very much a science to making these types of games that Destiny people want to play. Destiny is still, it's an ongoing science. It is an ongoing <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a new frontier, but it, it is like a, a, a science in a sense. And so like there's a blueprint there that you can follow. Um, I think a couple of things factor into this decision. I, you know, Bioware and its statement talked about uh, the coronavirus pandemic. Um, and, you know, I, I've seen people online or whatever sort of uh, raising their eyebrows and wondering if that's just a convenient excuse. I absolutely think that is true and that they're being honest about that. Uh, coronavirus has like devastated the games industry in a lot of ways. And um, it's forcing, I think, everybody to tighten their belts. And I think that, you know, maybe there's an alternate universe where coronavirus didn't exist and Anthem might have been allowed to continue surviving. But I think in this day and age, you know, companies really gotta be shoring up uh, leaks in their ship. And I think Anthem just represented a really big leak. I think the other thing, and I've, I've been thinking about this a lot, right? Because there's been some really great underdog comeback stories with video games over the years. Um, you know, Final Fantasy 14 is obviously the big one uh, of a game that released in a probably worse state than Anthem. I mean, we reviewed it lower than we reviewed Anthem. Um, and so like just a dire state and it is now like you and I are just <laughs> huge fans it. of that game. Love like I, I love that game. Yeah. So, you know, there, there's like, there's a, there's a blueprint there as well. But I think the difference with that is that like, you know, Anthem was not this cherished, uh, you know, I hate this word, but like intellectual property. It wasn't this cherished series. You know, people didn't have this emotional connection to Anthem that they might have had with Mass Effect or Dragon Age. And so I just don't think that there was the right ingredients in for that kind of comeback story, right? Final Fantasy, people love Final Fantasy. It's been around forever. Uh, people are invested in that series. People don't care about Anthem. I mean, people like the game. Uh, it still has its diehard fans or whatever, but like by and large, most people don't care about the future of Anthem's world or its world building or its characters. And so I think without those hooks, like there's just not a lot there. I think the other thing too, um, I, you know, this is me playing armchair developer and I, I totally recognize that. Um, but I think the way that Bioware went around it was all wrong. I think they were too slow to acknowledge the backlash. And I think they were too slow to act on it too. I think doing like a big rework maybe could have worked, who knows. But I think the fact that, you know, it wasn't until, geez, May 2020 that Bioware finally acknowledged that it was doing a rework on the game, like that's crazy. They needed to move way quicker. I think they needed to make uh, more strides quicker. Like, you know, Square Enix with Final Fantasy 14, not to keep drawing this comparison, but like if you pay attention to that story, Square Enix sunk an incredible amount of money and resources into rebuilding Final Fantasy XIV. I don't think Bioware's heart was in it. I think that they were working on Dragon Age, that they were obviously working on a new Mass Effect, and then Anthem was sort of like, my sense of it was that maybe they had a skeleton crew working on it, and if they came up with something magical, they would, uh, you know, consider investing more fully in a in a rework the anthem 2.0 but i don't think that that ever would have yielded the results that they were hoping for so i think the project was doomed from the start based on the execution of how they wanted to do the rework and so i think yeah ea sat in that room and they probably were just like it was probably a lot of what we saw in the blog posts where it was oh we're gonna make the loot better and the suits are gonna be you know it's gonna have builds it's gonna be focused on builds like these sort of archetypal roles that they'll fill in a party and i just don't think any of that stuff's inspiring none of that stuff's going to inspire people to suddenly care about anthem again